right, so last time this arrived in the mail, and this is a carbon fiber arm for my for Mitch, my tricopter. I was so excited because I thought I would be able to fly in no time. Well, apparently, after checking uh, up on uh, Mitch's internals, there were a, a little bit more damage than I had initially thought. Actually, there were a lot more damage than I had initially thought. There, there were a lot of uh, damage soldering on the main board. Um, yeah, so well, crap, and uh, we had a little bit of crack over here, so it wouldn't be able to support the arms as uh, as good as it could uh, as it would have to. So, well, Mitch is back to the workshop for a little bit longer, and uh, I'm gonna have to wait. For for a couple more weeks, probably of a lot more weeks for the replacement board to arrive from C Sweden. So in the meantime, while uh, Mitch is in the workshop, we're gonna try out this e Sheen E010. Um, if a lot of you probably are familiar with this uh, model already, and this is uh, in this is an Inductrix or Tiny Whoop clone. So uh, I'll put some links down below, but. Um, Let's see what you what you get inside the box. So of course you get the Eshin E010. It is smaller than I initially expected. Um, looking at the box, I thought it would be a little bit bigger, but that so it's good for uh, indoor flying. So it comes with the battery already um, attached inside, and you just uh, plug this uh, plug this battery connector there, and uh, you're good to go. So let's do that right now. And. There you go. So it has a blue light in the front and a red light at the back. Also comes with a uh, transmitter, a small Xbox style remote control. Uh, it doesn't come with the two AA batteries, but I already put it in. So the binding procedure is fairly standard. Turn it on, and then you uh, turn the throttle up and then down, and then you're good to go. All right. So uh, it comes with a set of uh, spare props as well, and a USB charger for charging one of your batteries, and it comes with a user's manual. But uh, yeah, you should probably ought to read that as well. But uh, if you're like me, we'll, we'll probably go flying first before we even try to open that thing. So I would I would also recommend is to get some more extra batteries like this. They come separately. I'll put some links down in the description below. And the, a multi-charger so you can charge a lot of batteries at the same time. So you can buy a set of five batteries and the, and the, the, the multi-USB charger which can charge all five batteries at the same time. And you're good to go. So uh, it is a great day today and uh, we will take that, uh, we'll try out our Ishin E010 outdoors. Um, we'll try it outdoors first. It's a little bit windy so we will see how it fares against the wind it's very light uh, i think it's uh i i don't know how light it is a couple of grams but uh let's see how it fares against some um some fairly strong gusts of wind hey everyone we're out here in the field we are here to test out the e010 and how it performs uh, <laughs> under strong winds and uh, i'm with here with carla who is going to be trying out Playing out, playing with her uh, own drone. An afternoon of flying, it's time to chow down with some wings. So 
So the wind was more than the Ishin E-010 could take and um, I couldn't even finish one battery without crashing and without uh, getting caught by the wind and getting thrown around. So we are going to go indoors and uh, continue our flying in indoors and uh, let's see how it goes from there. <laughs> So the Ishin E-010 is an indoor flyer, or at the very least, you can fly it outdoors on a very, very calm day. Now to take things a little bit step further, we have here the EF-01 FPV all-in-one cam. And uh, we are going to connect it to our Ishin E-010 so that we can have a little bit of FPV flying. So the EF-01 comes with a manual and it comes with a camera, right here. So it's very easy to have this uh, to remove the top shell. The easier 10 just clips on one here at the side and another here on the other side. Not sure, oh, there, there it goes. All right, so we're just gonna pull out one side and there. Now, what we're gonna use is one of these uh, camera mounts built specifically for the e sheen or the, the Tiny Whoop or Inductrix, and uh, it goes uh, you mount it directly on top of this uh, of the board or rather. Uh, there are some screw slots over at the side, mount it over there, and then uh, you're, we're going to attach the camera on top of that uh, mount. Alright, so we are back and uh, we've uh, attached the EF-01 to the camera mount and to the to the Ishin E-010. So uh, it came with two screws, but uh, the screws were a little bit too thick. Oh, you're not going to see it on camera. Alright, anyway. The screws are a little bit too thick, so I wasn't able to screw it on to the actual camera mount and to the to the E010. But one of the front screws um, fit just perfectly for one at least one of the uh, one of the screw holes on the camera mount. And then the the uh, EF01 came comes with the with these uh, two screws. And it fits perfectly with the camera mount. Now, if you notice, um, uh, I removed the the metal case, I think it is metal, well I, I removed the casing of the camera to, to save up a little bit more on weight. So this is the view from the FPV goggles and uh, we can see what the Ishin E-010 can see through its FPV cam. You'll notice that, that the it's a little bit heavier uh, due to the weight of the F, FPV cam. And uh, I also used some 45C batteries, upgraded batteries, but it's more of something that you can feel when you're flying it rather than something that you can notice in these videos. Here's the punch out for the E10 with the 45C battery and the FPV cam EF01. Now another popular mod is, uh, you know, trimming some of the blades on the on the propellers to make it a two-leaf propeller. Now all you have to do is just ba basically just cut off uh, the two excess blades, and uh, this is supposed to give you a longer hover time and a more efficient flight. Although it's going to be a little bit noisier. Another thing I found out that uh, without canopy, without the FPV cam and on a 45C battery, the Ishin E-010 is crazy fast. Alright, so we tried different mods with the E-010 or E-010. We first added the FPV cam to make a, you know, an FPV drone, small FPV indoor drone. Uh, and we tried uh, using the 45C batteries to see how, uh, how better off the performance of the drone would be. And then finally we tried cutting off the propellers, make it two-blade propellers. And uh, that gave us, uh, you know, 
um, more efficient uh, propellers. But uh, if you are if you're new to the world of uh, FPV flying, then you know, this is a great drone to start with. It's a cheap drone that you can cheaply add uh, an, F an FPV cam to, and if you already have your goggles, and it's a, it's a great indoor uh, FPV drone. But uh, personally, I prefer just flying it line of sight, as it uh, you know, almost stock. I'd probably still use the 45C batteries and uh, cut the propellers, so that I have a really fast and agile you know toy drone. Because uh, prefer personally, I prefer um, you know just flying. Well, zooming around the house, uh, line of sight with a fast uh, with a fast uh, quad, rather than have a P FPV cam that's uh, that's slow and encumbered. So there you have it. Hopefully you enjoyed this video about the Ishin E010. And uh, if you like this video, hit the like button and uh, please do subscribe for more videos and content that's going to be coming up soon. And uh, build more, fly more. We see